A new study released by national nonprofit Clean Label Project claims that some pet foods are not only unsafe, but could slowly be poisoning your pet. The organization, whose mission is to improve label transparency, had over 900 top-selling dog and cat food products studied. Over Skype, executive director of Clean Label Project, Jacqueline Bowen, says the results were shocking. The Clean Label Project worked with an independent uh, third-party uh, analytical chemistry laboratory called Ellipse Analytics, who has tested tens of thousands of consumer products. And they literally have never seen environmental and industrial contaminants as high as they have ever seen in pet food. 81% of pet foods exceeded the EPA's lead action level. In some pet food, lead was found at 16 times the concentration of lead in Flint, Michigan's drinking water. And 89% of pet foods exceeded the arsenic level set by the EPA. I sent my findings over to Robert Glock, research scientist emeritus at the University of Arizona. He says in most cases the contaminants in the study will not be toxic unless present in 1,000 to 1 million times the concentrations that can be detected. So should we really be worried about what's in our pet's food? I talked with some Tucson locals about these findings. That's a little discerning. That's, uh, that's frustrating. If that's in my dog food, I would definitely want to change. No doubt about it. You know, unfortunately, arsenic's in a lot of our food, and I don't know what you can do about it except um, make it from fresh food. And even then, you're going to get it. So what can we as consumers do to protect our pets? Clean Label Project says to be aware of marketing tactics like the terms high quality, natural, grain free. The study found that these brand messages, along with higher prices, were not an indicator for quality. The average price for this study's top-ranked dry dog food is $19.13. The average price for its lowest-ranked, $85.33. Yes, consumers are spending more money for less quality. In fact, pet foods labeled grain-free were generally found to have higher levels of toxins than those that did not. Bowen recommends printing out the clean label project list of recommended foods. All products tested have been rated one, three, or five stars. Taking this list to your local veterinarian to find a product that is not only lower in contaminants and toxins, but also meets the dietary needs of your pet. When in doubt, buying turkey was found to be the cleanest protein source with the least amount of contaminants overall. Their diets aren't like ours. They eat the same thing two to three times a day, every day of their life. Um, so with that, the exposure that they're having to these environmental industrial contaminants and toxins um, is so especially um, important. And the fact that no one is talking about it, we're really looking to drive that awareness. So where does your pet food rank? Clean Label Project's pet food rankings and recommendations can be found on our website, kega9.com. I'm Stephanie Dunlap, Kega9 on your side and totally Tucson.